what are we doing? We're on Highway 20 in Idaho and we're looking for a place to go cross country skiing or maybe snow kiting. And we're on the way to Soldier and that area is, is known for, uh, for its snow kiting. So fingers crossed. All right. All right. Do you have anything else to say? Let's see. This is our second day out, right? Uh huh. We found a spot um, in the Blue Mountains to spend the night. It was uh, a new spot. A new spot, yeah. I mean, it wasn't great. It was just off 84, and you couldn't see 84, but you could hear 84. And it was like a ODOT piece of ODOT property where they like stored you know, piles of gravel and stuff for the roads. What's going on? Just sitting here knitting getting dark outside so this is what we do. How's the how's the environment in here? It's toasty. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's toasty because I fixed our heater. This heater is oh let's see boom. Right, so I've got it set to oh come on. 72 heater enabled. Last night is the first time that we've ever had the first time ever since we had the van ever since we had the van that we've had heat all, all night, night long which was really out. nice yeah <laughs> and which is important because look outside we're in a winter wonderland it started to snow it's supposed to get like an inch or two tonight and then we're gonna go at least cross-country skiing tomorrow mm -hmm. and if there's wind there will be kiting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, when we pulled in here, I was gonna set up the table and get the stove going there. <laughs> so, cause like, oh no, we're not cooking outside. Are you kidding me? So we cooked inside, which is fine because we just crack open that window, we turn the fan on, and so far we don't die. It's all good. It's all good. But we also have a carbon monoxide um, detector right here. So if like something goofy was going on, hopefully we would get alerted and survive. That's the idea. That's the idea. Anything else to add? <laughs> After you turn off the video, I have something to say to you. <laughs> If you have something to say to me, you can say it in front of everyone else. Isn't that like what the teacher would say? Uh -huh. It's good enough to share with your neighbor. You can share it with the whole class, Silka. I was just hoping that there would be lots of wind so you're taken care of when I can just knit. <laughs> I thought you were going to be off cross-country skiing the whole time. Well, yeah, a little bit, but then I was going to knit. <laughs> now there's no fucking wind. Oh, you poor thing. I have to babysit you. Oh, no. Keep you busy. Give you your, you know. Is that what you think? No. <laughs> <laughs> what you knitting? I'm fixing my sweater. You had to take some of it apart, didn't you? No, well, because it just was not right. Oh. How's it going? It's going good. I'm yeah. almost back to where I want to be. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right, then. Time to say goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. What's cooking? All right. All right, here we go. Okay. So this is kind of a research day for uh, snow kiting. There's no wind, um, so we're going out on, on skis. 
but this looks just beautiful. Like this looks like perfect terrain. You can see there's snowmobile tracks, um, so that uh, helps ease my mind that the, it's okay to be here. Because it's really, I don't know how you, how you know. I know there's a lot of BLM, BLM land in here, but it's mixed in with farmland. So, and we've seen no trespassing signs in some areas, but this looks like people clearly have been going off there for recreation. So tomorrow there's supposed to be more wind. Fingers crossed, we're coming <laughs> back here. So I've attempted to snow kite a couple of other times over the last few years. And it's never really worked out. I didn't have the, the right kite one time. And there wasn't enough wind another time. We got chased away by ski patrol at Timberline even though we were way out of bounds. on the inside of the tent. That probably wouldn't have happened if, if we had left the fan on. Really? I think. I mean, because the condensation, the moisture from breathing, about halfway through the night we turned the fan off. This was noisy. It was a little noisy. Freezing and noise, not okay. <laughs> As soon as the wind started coming up, this car appeared out of nowhere, and this guy gets out, pumps up his kite, and beat me to the punch. Snow kiting is you can go uphill. You just like go right uphill.
And then out on the tundra, a long ways from the van, I suddenly see a lone cross-country skier. And it's Silka, who had left her knitting to come see what the fuss was all about. tracks going right up that ridge. Those are mine going uphill. I just kited right up that thing. So finally, a successful snow cutting trip. Plus, we got to find out what it's like in the van when it's really cold, and we had a lot of really cool cross-country skiing. So I'd call that a success. Wow.